What's up, YouTubians? Gary, VW Jawbreaker. Welcome back to another video where today we're going to do a couple recap things and show you something else we're doing for our little camper. So this is like a lightweight DIY, not quite an overland camper yet, but this thing's done amazing. So let me bring you up to speed real quick in case you're not aware. There is a complete playlist for this, but this started out as a Coleman Versa trailer. We removed the top, extended the sides higher, lined it with aluminum, built a little cross bar set up for it, put a rooftop tent on it. Then we went ahead and outfitted it with lithium ion batteries, solar, onboard charger, a couple other bells and whistles. And then we also went ahead and put a little diesel heater on the front, to keep us nice and warm in the rooftop tent for when we are out camping. Now, problem is we are coming up to springtime I live in Florida, doesn't get cold that much, but it sure as heck gets hot. What do we do about AC for this little camping trailer? I have a couple ideas, but to be honest with you, it's not gonna be fun. Well, I mean, it won't be bad, but it's just more crap to take, right? I mean, honestly, I don't have the batteries on right now, but we're kind of full. I mean, I do have a lot of room back here. Some stuff's just kind of thrown in there, but you know, between the shower tent, and the rugs and all the camping stuff and the hot water heater, taking showers, propane, all the cooking accessories, the ice co co uh, cooler, fridge in there, solar panel, table. We got a lot of stuff in there. And it's really not that heavy. To be honest with you, the 60s done amazing getting this thing down the road. So if you're not aware, this is a 1960 Volksrod Baja Franken Beetle build that I did. So if you notice the front end is stretched forward 10 inches it's kind of a baja look we've got kind of a race wing on the back we're running a 2054 cc high compression big valve oh it's a, such an awesome running engine i love it this car we've been building for about three years again complete playlist on that but it has done amazing pulling that trailer except for fuel mileage fuel mileage suffers a little bit but that's also because i'm cruising like 60 65. You know, I mean, so what? I get 15 miles a gallon. I get there. Doesn't run hot. Runs amazing. Car handles the trailer perfectly. Stops on a dime. Four wheel disc brakes. We're good. So, how can we stay cool? That's the big thing, right? Well, I don't see me running a portable AC unit off of batteries. I mean, I guess I could with a big inverter and stuff, but uh, I really don't want to. So the next thing is, well, we need a generator. Hey, I got one. This is a 2000 watt running watt inverter. 2500 peaks, runs 13 hours at a quarter load with like five liters of gas. It, it, it should be good. Definitely good enough to run a small little portable AC to cool the rooftop tent. What kind of AC are we gonna run? I don't know. How are we gonna do it? Not sure. One step at a time, guys. So, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Let's check it out, fire it up, see if it really is quiet like the inverter generators are, and see exactly how well this built hard is built. Instructions, probably don't need those. Bubble wrap, oh, oil funnel, we'll probably need that. It's actually kind of a nice looking blue. All right, so right off the bat, we've got uh, two 120 volt plugs. This is parallel adaptable, so you can run two of them in parallel. Got your resets, your fuel off on, 12 volt out, eco mode, AC reset, your lights. Oh, we gotta, uh, uh, we gotta add 1030 oil. Oil recommendation, 13.5 ounces of 1030 oil. All right, well. Let's pop the side cover off and uh, add some oil. Go ahead and uh, look, lock, unlock. That's pretty easy. Unlock, come on. Oh, okay, it's got little rubbers in there. Nice. Right, same thing, 1030 oil. Well, I think I have that covered. Now I don't have a small container or a way to measure it, but I do have some Valvoline 1030, what they recommend, 1030. We got about a quart in there, so we'll just add some and check it. Yeah, about halfway there. A 
we're up to the top. All right, it's oiled up. Now here's something interesting to note. I just worked on a friend of mine's Craftsman generator the other weekend, and I swear, all of this is almost identical. The only difference is there's a brace running down right here, which made it a bear to get the carburetor off to clean the jets. Very, very similar setup. Very interesting. Next up, we'll go ahead and throw some gasoline in it. And just don't tell Levi I stole some of his lawnmower gas. I'm not going to put a whole lot in there. Eh, nothing like making a mess. Yeah, it should be good. Now, on the lid, you'll notice it says off and on, and that's your vent. I'll snug that up. We'll go ahead and turn that to on so it vents. Wipe up my spillage. All right. So that's off, on, and choke. Should be all we need to do, right? So let's try it. Oh wait, economy's off. You gotta be kidding me. Doesn't even notice that 90 watt LED floodlight. How about a uh, 1200 watt heat gun? That's low. Fired cold on the first pull. How's it gonna do on a restart? On. Oh, economy off. Now that's my table rattling. But you know what? Let's put it down on the ground and try it. That's not too bad. I mean, it's about 42 pounds for, you know, a 2000 watt inverter generator. That is the complete sine wave technology, but fires right up, runs good. It's a little louder than I would have hoped for. Um, but other than that, I think she's gonna make a good addition to the camp trailer build. So again, I appreciate them for sending this out. I'll put a link down below in case you are interested in one of these as well. But I can honestly tell you that like the Generac generators, definitely quieter. Definitely a little quieter under full load. I mean, I, I don't have a noise decibel meter, but I can tell you a little quieter with the, the higher end generators that you buy. So I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks so much for sticking around. Again, I'll drop a link down below. Also, don't forget about the Amazon affiliate link below. A lot of the stuff that I use for this trailer build 
for the 60, tools I use in the shop, things like that, are all down in different categories in my Amazon storefront. So make sure you check that out, I appreciate it. So until the next time guys, be kind and be good.